This is how you're going to make the perfect Vegeta. Right, Vegeta? Vegeta? Remember the bug planet? Vegeta? And not a Vegeta that looks like this. Oh, no. Vegeta? 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 I'm talking about a Vegeta that looks like this, but even better. Vegeta? 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 Ah! The first thing you have to do is you have to... Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! Do you mean to tell me that you have not subscribed yet and that you're part of the 87% of people who have not done so? You better fix that. You better fix that quick or things are gonna get messy. Go to the workshop and download a better Vegeta, which is how I found a Vegeta with this amazing Super Saiyan hair. Now to pull it off, you had to take multiple pieces of vampire hair and then edit them using UCM, the mod. Clearly, I do not know how to do that, but now I have access to this beautiful hair. But now we must take him to the next step because we have new abilities. Also, I'm pretty sure I can make the hair glow. Let me just go to a random piece of vampire hair, which apparently is the, the right outside piece right here. And with the more color mod, I can make it glow. But do I have the right color? I mean, that's close. And when you take a look at Vegeta Ultra Ego, he does have his beautiful dark pink glowing hair. So I think we're gonna make it glow. Let me just check the special colors in case there's another option here. I don't think any of these are gonna do the glow that I need. All right, bright pink it is. Uh, give me a second. There, now we have insane glowing Ultra Ego hair. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the original purple or do you like this amazing glow? Comment down below, let me know. Though there's something wrong. Ultra Ego Vegeta has yellow eyes. There is a modded thing here called Grieving Titan Eyes. Can I change? Oh, I can. Well, I guess we're gonna make it yellow. Is there a really sick? Oh, glowing yellow. I'm just gonna take them both and turn them glowing yellow. I don't know, is glowing yellow the correct way or is just like regular yellow the correct way? Ah, you know what? I, I, yeah, I'm going regular yellow. I think it looks better. Yeah, I think the regular yellow actually looks better. We have our ultra ego looking Vegeta. Now we can do something that we've never done before. Give him proper abilities. I mean, we gave Goku the Kamehameha. So I think I want to give Vegeta a different attack. So to pull this off, we need to go to the dark peasant throw. And once we take the dark peasant throw, we're gonna change the ability to uh, a key blast and not just one key blast, a rapid fire key blast. I mean, everybody knows that the rapid key blast is Vegeta's technique. So I think the ability to do this best is actually the magic missile. But first I need to get the other dark peasant throw <laughs> and make sure that it also has magic missile. Now watch what happens. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna go test unit and there is the re Vegeta. Where'd you go? I mean, magic missile is distant, but it does this like aerial attack, which isn't correct. So maybe magic missile is not quite it. What about a beam at Oh, that's pretty good. I like how that looks. Minus all the chaos is happening right now. And then again, the sunbeam does look quite good. Yeah, it, it kind of, it, I like it a lot as a key blast. So I'm just going to get another dark peasant throw and give it to him. But the problem with the sunbeams is they're too thick. So I believe the answer is just the regular beam. It makes more sense for a key blast. And there's just there's too much going on here. What do you guys think? Sunbeam or regular beam? Comment down below. Also, we're going to give this guy a hover. Um, I'm going to give him hover i'm not sure which one probably the regular hover no we're gonna give him the mega hover and now we see oh yeah there we go get into the sky vegeta you god wherever you have gone <laughs> give him a lot of hp size is fine weight is fine movement speed i'm gonna five attack speed i don't know what that means we're gonna give it 111 and damage uh, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> The only problem with this mega hover is it makes their head flop to the side. Can I switch it to a different hover and not have that problem? And he's gone. I give him high hover. Hey, his head's up in the sky. That's awesome. Try and take a picture of our massive hovering super prince. Say, sir, can you come, come down? I can't get him. Just remove high hover for now. And he drops down. Oh yeah, Vegeta. Oh, he's blinking. Don't blink, Vegeta. There we go. 
Uh, let's take him for a spin. I'm probably gonna regret this. So before I take him and I make him fight Goku, I wanna see what he can do against some pr Wait, does he not have hover? I think I forgot to give him hover again. Oh well, the fight is gonna go without the hover. Let's see what that- Oh, <laughs> the rapid fire key blast is so good. <laughs> It's perfect for Vegeta, but the problem is he's doing this thing where he's about to walk off the map. We need to fix that before he goes off and fights Goku, as um, we just lost. Let's give him back his, uh, mm, high hover. Bye, bye, Vegeta. And I want him to stay still, so I'm going to give him the order units to stay so he doesn't, like, backpedal. All right, now that Vegeta seems to be fixed, we're going to give him uh, another test before the big one. Just going to put Vegeta right here in the middle of the circle. And just like that, Vegeta looks fantastic. And if he's gonna fly, we'd rather as well shoot at him with things that can actually, well, shoot at him. And you know, you gotta make sure that there's enough of them. I don't wanna waste our time having Vegeta get killed by nothing. Uh, you know what? Let's just include some tanks. Everyone loves watching Vegeta blow stuff up. This is your test before the Goku fight. Here we go, Vegeta. Let's start the fight nice and close. Oh no, what's he doing? Oh, he went right down for them. Oh, there's so much destruction. Maybe putting the muskets in the middle may have been a bad idea. They were caught in the crosshairs, in the crossfire. This is disgusting. I like how he's just looking down on them like they're beneath him, because they literally are. Vegeta Ultra Ego versus the Super Peasant. Okay, the Super Peasant has to be able to destroy him, right? Well, buddy, let's see what you can do. Oh, I think Super Ultra Ego V... I'm sorry, English is feeling me right now as I... Oh, there we go. Okay, Vegeta. You're strong, but you're not that strong. Uh, uh, what happened to your neck? I'm just gonna replace this guy with the, the Dark Peasant too. I doubt this is gonna work. Maybe a little teleport action over here. Instant transmission, Vegeta vs. Oh, okay. So Vegeta, Ultra Ego, Super Mega Ultra Ego actually destroyed the Dark Peasant. But what about the Chaos Peasant? Let's see what Vegeta, Vegeta, sorry, I love Vegeta. He's my favorite. Ah! Ooh! Ew! Ew! Oh! Wrecked! Okay, so what about my ghost peasant? Oh! Oh, blue victory. Sorry, Vegeta. Not as strong as the ghost peasant. And I mean, the unnamed peasant? Vegeta? There's no way. There's, there's no way. The unnamed peasant is one of the most powerful things in totally accurate battle simulator. Let's see what happens. Unnamed peasant is about to spaghettify the Vegeta. Blue victory? That would mean that Vegeta is somewhere turned into spaghetti. I'm gonna follow the path, follow the path. Has anyone seen Vegeta at all? Is that him? Is that that? Nope. Don't look, look at the hair. <laughs> Spaghettified Vegeta hair. Here in the judgment hall, we will have Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans. This being the uh, ego version of Vegeta versus Goku, the perfect Goku, complete with this uh, Kamehameha blast. Though many of you call it a key blast. Let's see what happens in three, two, one, go, fight begins oh we have a teleport very cool when did he learn instant transmission red victory the key blast just destroyed the cuckoo that was awesome